Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to crack the seal on 1500 The New World. This is a new game from Dan Versing Games. I believe it was on Kickstarter. Funded, shipped successfully. It is a uh, two, to six, 2 to 6 player game. Um, uh, it's a card driven um, strategic game, you play on a map. Um, don't know much about it. Uh, interesting, it's a two-player, a multiplayer game coming from DVG, who are known for their uh, excellent solo leader series games, Warfighter, things like that. So, uh, this is interesting. Um, so the base game comes with, uh, it says 112 cards, two sheets of counters, 17 by 22 map, mounted map, which is always good, and a rule book. And then it says it's only... Uh, 20 to 45 minutes to play, and it's a low complexity game. So that's kind of cool because it may open to other people. Um, we'll also take a look in, they have the expansion sets that go with it that add various nationalities. I feel like I'm like civilization or something here. We got the England expansion set, the Netherlands expansion set, the Spain expansion set, the Portugal expansion set. Because Portugal and Spain, not the same thing. And a France expansion set. So, five more factions for uh, 1,500. Uh, each faction uh, adds uh, 56 player nation cards and 56 AI nation cards. So that's interesting. Uh, with the factions, you can play one or more AI nations solitaire or play with multiple players in AI nations. So this is awesome because it has solitaire to it. Which is great fun. So, gonna look at those later. A shiny box. Uh, hopefully, the the other cards will fit in this box uh, because I'm not sure that trying to fit them back in here is gonna be easy. It's funny with DVG on there. I thought it was DVD. I was like, why am I getting a DVD? given the size of this box, but pulling it open. All right, so here we go. Beautiful artwork, I really like it a lot. I feel like, I mean, seriously, it looks like a computer game. That's, I mean, just this, this the feeling it evokes here, so. Uh, we have our rule book. 1500 New World is a competitive two to six player game lasting six turns. Each turn compete against the other players to build colonies and earn victory points. Win by having those victory points at the end of the game. It is a, there's some blank pages in here, and it is completely without page numbers. So you're gonna read it in order and not have to hopefully look anything up. So it's a glossy color, magazine style rule book, but literally no page numbers anywhere anywhere on it so uh, you'll start with setup and you'll just go through and read it all and maybe dog ear or uh, write your own page numbers in there not a big big deal this is a dan Verson game design as well uh, this guy doesn't look very friendly something bad's about to happen there okay beautiful artwork throughout uh, we have a sample turn it's large print should be easy to teach based on what they say and we got some blank pages and a blank back. I hope those this page intentionally left blank. So we'll see. All right. Then we have our game board, and it's a smaller game board, 22 by 17, I believe it said. So we will open that up shortly. All right. We have a sheet, two sheets of counters, houses in the different player colors, it seems, and uh, it's purple there. And then we've got. Uh, victory points as well so one two three four five six colors six players all right and then we have our cards two decks cards 112 cards um again storage might be an issue kind of like the original warfighter because the cards aren't going to fit that way so this insert is most likely going to go in these decks we'll just stack in here so Anyway, not complaining, just observing. So here we go. We have cards of different types. 
but they all shuffle together apparently. So let's just look at them here real quick. Regional disaster. Remove all the colonies from one region. I assume then that these are colony workers. Another regional disaster. Horning supplies. Change all your struggling colonies to successful. Remove all of the other players' struggling colonies. Hoarding supplies again. Hoarding supplies. Iron grip. Play when you're tallying your points. Gain four points instead of two for each of your monopolies. Several of those. Blight. Struggle all colonies belonging to other players that are adjacent to your colonies. Those are one type of card. And then we've got some that have a red. And those are tan background. These are red. Revolt. It's a reaction card. After player with more points than you reduces or remove colonies, you can draw two cards. Fate. When a player plays a card, cancel the card. Again, very nice artwork. Very nice. I like the I like the uh, design style on it. Okay. Marauders. When players tallying, that player does not gain points for monopolies. So far, I'm seeing all the red cards are reaction cards. It looks like so you're probably just shuffling together. It just helps you distinguish what they are. War for each of your colonies that you struggle. You may struggle one colony belonging to each of the other players. This is kind of cool. Some of the mechanics sound interesting. So that's one deck, and this is the other deck. Try to slice my finger open like Julia Child. Disease struggle up to six adjacent colonies. So we got some disease cards. These are all. None of these are reaction. Spread out. Build up to one colony each of the five regions. So. 112 cards it says here and they will fit one whole both stacks will fit in the height of the box so definitely if we get rid of this insert um, you can probably add the expansion cards in here so let's take a look at the the board it's made to look like a map which is very nice there's South America North America Caribbean as if you couldn't read it yourself and then we got the turn track and your scoring points track. You got tens. So we go from 1500 to 1695. Then game over, man. Game over. It does have um, the player turn rules reference right there, which is nice. Place for your draw deck and your discards. And then royal support. Whatever that is. So. It is a beautiful map, uh, good quality, uh, Dan Verson makes some really good maps, especially the smaller maps like this. Um, I like that it's not as glossy a, a finish, it's uh, more of a matte finish. So I got some bright light shining on here and you're barely getting a glare. So that's pretty cool. Excellent. Decent size, won't take up a lot of the table space either, so that's cool. All right, so let's put away the base game real quick. You're going to get 112 cards. Uh, you get two sheets of counters, markers. A uh, very low, low component game here. Very nice map. Full color, unnumbered rule book, and the box. So that is everything in the base game. So now we'll take a look at some of the uh, expansion decks. Okay, so now we're going to look in the Spain expansion set here uh, for 1500 The New World. Um, a little seal. And remember in this, you're going to get um, 56 player nation cards and 56 AI nation cards, which is pretty awesome. So that is really cool how that's going to work. I don't know if the rules were in the rules. Or the rules for AI are going to be in here. We'll take a look at what you get. So this comes in a nice little compact box. And it's four, I guess, four tiny decks here. Yeah. yeah. So you got the two of those make up an AI deck. And two of those make up a player deck for Spain. And you do get a rule sheet. So we're getting... An expansion rule set. This picture's uh, England, so this is going to be a uh, standard sheet. I guess the same sheet is going to be in all of them there. And then you're going to get the customized deck, but it does have the AI uh, cards uh, and the AI rules in here. So that's awesome. So you can play a two-player game and immediately play against an AI uh, opponent. 
So that's pretty sweet. And you can pick any of these factions, which are customizable. I mean, not customizable, customized for their faction. Example of an AI turn. Very cool. So we're going to look. The Spain cards are pretty much, I mean, going to be the Spain deck. So we're not going to open those. Uh, but we'll look at an AI deck just to get a feel for what the AI is going to do and the decisions the AI is going to make. Because you can, as it said, you can play multiple AIs. So the AI is going to work against the other factions as well, uh, nations, even if they're hum not human controlled. So you could play two people against two AIs. You could play one player against two or three AIs. You, with five of the five expansion packs, you could play a six player game if you wanted to. You take on one of the base nations and with the AI run. All right, so we have cards. Overconfident for each, each opposing player loses points equal to the number of colonies they have on the map. Revolt for every colony of yours that is reduced or removed, you gain a point. Well, that works. You got fate. Decrease every other player's points by their role support. So these are the same. Your colonies cannot be struggled or reduced, exception for the plague ship of loyalty. Embargo. So you got a nice blue tint here. Colonists. Remove up to three colonies, then build up to three colonies. Minimum two. Cool. So this is one of the AI decks and the instructions that come with it. So uh, each of these uh, four expansions, you got Spain again, France, Portugal, starring Paul Newman as the Netherlands and England and Spain. So there's five uh, AI uh, decks that you can get to add to uh, 1500, the new world from DVG games. So pretty cool. Check that one out. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!